Hello and welcome to the Official Watchers YouTube channel here at Jardin du Mayfair. Heaven on earth for the watch enthusiast, I have something extremely special to show you today. I know we say that every week, but this is a piece unique. It's the AET Remold Richard Mill RM003 Tourbillon Dual Time Zone Abu Dhabi Piece Unique Edition. Let's have a look at this amazing piece. Guys, please do hit that subscribe button. Up to 80% of you that watch aren't subscribed and it would really help me. I'm delivering these videos fresh and hot every single week. Thank you so much. So, as well as being an absolute mouthful, this is a killer blend of tech. AET, short for Artistic Expression and Thought, are one of the hottest custom companies on the planet at the moment. Based in Germany, they create art pieces out of watches using sapphire and ceramics. This is a piece unique sapphire RM003, so it's a little odd to have in hand the only one in the world. The watch has a subtle white and turquoise colour scheme visible on the Rehort, which is a nod to the famous Abu Dhabi racetrack. RM and motorsport go hand in glove, so this is a particularly fitting minute track tribute. AT's precision milled cut and polished sapphire has been wrapped around Richard Mille's RM003 tourbillon movement. The RM003 is a very close sibling of the RM002, but with the addition of a dual time zone feature and a slight increase in size. Interestingly, it's the RM002 and 003 that launched the brand into the stratosphere when they were released in 2002 as they were so far advanced and far beyond anything that watchmaking was producing at the turn of the century. As such, they are known as the OG Mills, along with the 001 which kicked off the whole shebang in the previous year, 2001. Now add in a layer of infinitely modern design with AET's full sapphire case and it's a sandwich that watch nerds would kill for. The movement which is a manual winding tourbillon with 70 hour power reserve suspended on a grade 5 titanium base plate that sits on the rest of the movement which was made by Renault and Pappy and it incorporates RM's signature skeletonization, a dual time feature and the piece de resistance, a tourbillon known as the minute tourbillon because it completes one rotation on its axis every 60 seconds. It's so beautiful to watch. And because this is a tourbillon movement, the dial also includes separate power reserve and torque indicators, which lets the wearer know when to wind, how the mainspring tension is doing, and by default, how accurately the movement is going to be running. The indicators combined provide optimum power and torque for precision timekeeping. As the RM ethos is racing machines for the wrist, the layout of the dial deliberately resembles the dashboard of a vehicle. The dual time zone or GMT function, which as you know is an absolute favourite of mine, is taken care of by a 12 hour numbered sapphire disc that's set around the hands and the pinion at the centre of the dial. Pressing the button on the left side of the watch advances the hours in order to display a second time zone. It's both useful and unobtrusive as a complication, which gets the job done with minimal fuss. Now on the lower right side of the dial is the functions indicator. The crown is then pressed in a button type rather than standard pullout. This is a bit of RM specialty. And as you can see in the hands and the functions indicator located at four, the jump between is H, hands for time setting, N, neutral, that's its normal operating position, and W for winding, which does what it says on the tin. Now, once the watch has been wound and set, you press the crown button so that the indicator rests in the neutral position while the watch is running. Although the dial is complex and full of information, it's easily readable at a glance, which is exactly as it should be. Right, before we continue, I can't resist. I wanna get this beast in my hand because I just think that this is a truly special piece. The way the sapphire plays with the light 
blows my mind. And this is my kind of colour scheme. I think that the white rehawk with the little green parts, the green six, just look so cool. This is a truly special piece and I can see how people with big collections would look further to brands such as AET for something that little bit more special. Now the hands are really cool. They have a hollow center with lumen over filled tips, a sweet touch that enables you to read the second time zone without any obstruction. AET Sapphire modification gives the wearer a complete 360 degree view of the inner workings of this spectacular caliber. So you can peer at the thing for days without even paying too much attention to the time. I'm sure we've all been caught gazing at our watches without knowing if it's New York or New Year at some point. The watch is also, dare I say, sensibly sized at 39 mm and it sits exceptionally comfortably on the wrist thanks to its tonneau shaped case. It's a watch size to suit anyone, which is not a phrase that can often be attributed to Richard Mills as they tend to wear on the larger side. I will say this, it's a very thick case, so you would have to be used to wearing larger pieces. As you know, I'm a huge fan of larger pieces and I think that this is a statement and a half. The case on this is just mind-blowing and you have to bear in mind that an all-factory Sapphire RM can run into five million dollars so the material is really difficult to machine. Jay-Z owns two Sapphire clad RMs, a blue RM56 and a green RM5601 which were customized into their casings by Brooklyn-based A-list jeweler Alex Todd. These are estimated to be worth two and a half to four million dollars each and puts AET into some perspective. Sapphire is one of the hardest materials on earth with a Mohs grade of nine. The Mohs scale of mineral hardness runs from one to ten and measures scratch resistance of various minerals. In short, apart from going at this thing with a diamond, Sapphire is scratch proof. As with everything, there is a trade-off. Sapphire is hard to scratch, but it's also easier to crack than more pliable materials. So the production process for Sapphire can be fraught with some bum twitching anxiety as one slip in the cutting and polishing phase can crack it and take you right back to square one. So ordinarily, Sapphire cutting has a 30% yield, which means 70% of these end up in the bin. So you add to that the fact that these cases are tonneau shaped and polished to a mirror-like finish, and to cut a long story short, it's a process that requires precision, engineering, and a whole lot of skill. Now, fortunately, AET are masters of the sapphire craft and have achieved tolerances of 0.03 millimeters, which is higher than the industry standard. And once their pieces have been cut, drilled, polished and crafted, you end up with a visually spectacular case that's hard as nails, having survived the cut, so to speak. Although relatively new on the scene, AET Remold have already picked up a few celebrity followers, like Javier Hernandez from LA Galaxy, the Crown Prince of Johor, and Rick Ross. I've also spotted Jake Paul wearing the one that I'm wearing on my wrist today, which is considerably less priced, but considerably less special than this crazy piece unique. So let me get to the meat and potatoes, guys. Yes, this is a million dollar watch. Of course it is, but it really feels like one and it looks like one. It also performs like one. So yeah, a million dollars. But if you're up in those realms, I think it's a fantastic purchase. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this crazy unboxing. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do hit subscribe and I'll keep this content coming fresh and hot every week. Thank you.